recap on day two of the NBA DFS journey that I'm on. Planning to try to play every slate this NBA season, 2023-24 season, and we just had the completion of this second day of games, full slate of games, 12 games were in action and I got my ass kicked on FanDuel pretty good. Um, did all right on DK, just ended up winning 12 bucks plus all my entry fees, so I'll take that over uh, what happened to me on FanDuel tonight, but hey, that's part of the game. DFS is definitely up and down. And that's what makes it fun, and that's what makes it painful at the same time. But I love the uh, competitive side that you can get from this. And just, uh, man, it's pure entertainment, too. So I really enjoyed having all the games on tonight. And even though it wasn't a great day on FanDuel, I definitely had some misses with different plays that I had tonight. I played a few guys that I had too, in too many lineups, but that it also had um, a lot of ownership from other players, obviously. So that's uh, like a double whammy there. And then the players that I had that were low owned, for example, Trey Young. Man, that dude didn't show up tonight. Uh, it's going to be rusty games from players starting the year. I think he was one for seven from three and uh, had too, too many shares of him. But he was only 4% owned, and that earns dropping 42.8 fan dual points is pretty impressive for him on his first night. I think he had 27 points in the first half. A guy who I've really liked uh, coming into the season is Scotty Barnes. I think he should take a good step forward this year with uh, having the ball in his hands a lot more. Gives him opportunities to play make now that Fred Van Fleet's gone, so I think that was a nice play this guy had. This is who took down the 100K contest. So you can see his lineup and then uh, my shitty lineup next to it. I mean, w Wabanyama, if he plays, man, if he can stay out of foul trouble, just the amount of blocks that he'll get for, for FanDuel, that's something I try to target is just those, those blocks and steals because they can add up quickly. And then if you have a guy who can also score along with that, you're in good shape. The other one that hit tonight was Struess, and that was, I mean, he has those games that when he was with the Heat, he, he uh, had a few of these games. I'm interested to see if he can string anything consistently together this year. So that's the rundown. Uh, I got smoked pretty good here on FanDuel, but I will be back in action tomorrow for day three. I was just taking a quick peek at the lines here to just get a feel um, only two games I'll probably scale everything pretty far back tomorrow with uh, the number of lineups that I'm playing I need to uh, chill out and practice some better bankroll management I get too pumped up for the start of the season but hey you gotta have have some fun those first few day, days that the NBA is back so totals tomorrow Suns Lakers we don't have I guess we got 228 on points bet. I like this site because you can see the odds from a bunch of different sports books. Make sure you shop those odds and find the best lines that you can get. Those half points matter. Um, but yeah, this is just one of the sites I like to use. I'll, I'll, I'll walk through a few more throughout the year, definitely early on here. Um, but yeah, thanks for following along. I'll be back tomorrow.